Let's practice finding some inverses algebraically. Oh, Coach Tony, not algae algebraically. Yes, that is algae. Ew, kind of gross. Let's do it algebraically. First off, we have the horizontal line test to decide whether f has, has an inverse function. Because if it doesn't pass the horizontal line test, it does not have a function. In the equation f of x, I'm going to replace f of x with the letter y. Because remember, f of x is just the same thing as y. And then we interchange the roles of x and y and solve. We're going to switch x and y. First off, we have to determine that the inverse is a function. And the horizontal line test will do that. Then I'm going to replace f of x with y. Then I'm going to switch x and y and solve it. And then when I get done, I'll replace the y with the inverse, just that f negative 1 of x. So then we verify it to make sure that the domains and ranges, you get to test those out because it's possible that um, what may work in one may not work in the other. But if the inverse function, you plug it in, you get the inverse is x, and the inverse plug in the regular one, you get x, then it is a function. So let's, let's test it out. I want to find this one. Haven't looked at that other. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to replace f of x. First off, I could graph it to see if it passes the uh, horizontal line test. And well, that'll make a straight line. I'm going to uh, replace f of x with y. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch x and y. And now what I have to do is get the y by itself. Well, what am I doing to each side first? I'm dividing by 2, so I probably would what? Multiply each side by 2. If I multiply each side by 2, that 2 will cancel. And I can have 2x here. Now I have this 5 minus 3y. Let's subtract 5 from each side. Minus 5 minus 5. And now I'm going to divide by negative 3. So that would be my inverse function. And now I'm going to rewrite it with that f of negative 1 right there. 2x minus 5 divided by negative 3. That is the inverse function. This is the inverse function of that one. And we got it by simply replacing that with y, switching x and y, solving for y, and then when we get done, simply replace this f of negative 1 of x for the y.